Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you my personal strategy guide on how to play the map Militia. Now first of all, I do recommend playing with an assault rifle on this map or an LMG, your choice, but I do prefer the assault rifle. Now this is a power position on the map. And of course, if you control that power position, it will help you control a good portion of the map. Now they love, if they get the A flag, they will go around to this area. So always make sure it's cleared. And the church is a main power position of the map as well. It's a huge power position and you will control a significant portion of the map by controlling this church also. So first of all, I'm checking for this area. My acoustic sensor is going off. I'm looking for this guy. I kill him and I return to the power position to give me that cover but I am pre-aiming the hotspot. So you can see my acoustic sensor going off again, and by staying on top here as well, it's a very good spot to control the map, to overlook the map. And as you push through a choke point such as that doorway, you can easily get them. And if they have the C flag, they will always spawn to the right side as well, from where I'm looking at right now, to the right. Also, because they're spawning to the right, they can pass through that middle entrance to the church as well. So always be careful always look out for that as well now we have some split spawns going on they have the a flag they have the c flag which is not ideal that's why it's kind of chaotic at the moment but that is soon going to be settled down you can see i took him out as well so by controlling this church area right here in general you can easily kill them off the spawn as they push out it's actually very powerful just be careful of lmg users and sniper users as well so i'm always moving around i'm not just pre-aiming one spot because of that split spawn of course so i'm taking a look i'm looking around the map from this area and again look out for lmg users or snipers as well that cabinet is a power position so so the enemies will naturally gravitate towards that cabin. You can see he just spawned there. Look at that spawn. Very simple, right? And you can get long shots from this line of sight as well. It's so good. Now, as always, you don't want to stay in this spot for too long. You want to move around, but I'm just taking advantage as they spawn on the sea flag. And of course, if you don't do it, they will do it to you. So don't feel bad about it. It's part of the game. You gotta play the game. Now you can see my cruise sensor going off. He gets into the church and I stayed in that spot a bit too long there. And he came in and he got me right there, but I will get revenge. So look at that spawn right now. Spawning close to the power position, take him out. And look at that, he went to the power position. Look at this guy as well. They're naturally going towards this power position. So if you don't control it, they will try to control it and they will get you easily. So now we have two flags, the A flag and the B flag. So of course they're gonna spawn around the C area. And again, you can see the spawns, how they are. It's very easy picking, so they're gonna spawn around that area. So just pre-aim it, get your long shots and move away. Now I learned my lesson from getting shot from behind, etc. So I'm gonna pre-aim the area, pre-aim that doorway, because I know they're hungry. They wanna get me in a church. So they're gonna come through this doorway potentially very soon. I see my teammates having a look at it, so I'm just checking this area right here. And I'm looking around now, scouting the map with my line of sight with an assault rifle or an LMG, your choice. Now they took the A-fly, you can see straight away, these guys don't miss. My enemies don't miss. I just peeked it, instantly he shot at me. And um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty good at times. So you can see he's jumping around, trying to jump shot me, but he can't get me. My aim is better, boy. So you can see acoustic sensor as well going off. It's just being chaotic right now. But if you maintain this position, you can see I'm in control. I have the advantage and there's not much they can do about it. And again, look at this. They're jumping around the corners, trying to be triads, trying to get me. This ain't Infinite Warfare, boy. Put down your jetpack. This is boots on the ground gameplay. So now I get my streaks. I call in my Hellstorm. Love the Hellstorm. And I hope they just don't nerf it anymore. Just leave it as it is. Don't touch the streaks, let the streaks be good. Don't let it be bad. So he pushes up from the A spawn, they're gonna spawn over there in that area. So you can see by controlling this general area by the church, you can easily take them off the spawn again. You're seeing it right here and it is happening, but just don't stay there too long as well. You gotta move around, you gotta change it up a bit. And it's so powerful, this power machine. You can see they can barely do anything. They cannot move out of the spawn. They're gonna absolutely shot as soon as they spawn in. And uh, we are not intentionally trying to spawn trap, it is just happening. This is how the spawns work in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. They have the A flag, the spawns are pretty consistent on the A area, and they can easily work around, they can, they can throw stuns, they can move around behind the A area to the left and get away. But of course they're not choosing to do so, they're trying to be aggressive, they're not really thinking, and they're just trying to get me as well. But it's not gonna happen right now, boy. So 
pre aiming again, he spawns here, blast him. You guys get the idea. And look at the vision pulse as well. You can see where they are spawning. You can see they're filtering through the right side of A as well. So they're left from A and to the right, they're moving around. And my chopper is just going in. I oh, love it. Absolutely love it. This is Call of Duty right here. You can see the crucifix are going off. I learned my lesson. He passed through the mid doorway. He gets blasted. Look at them. They're passing through the choke points. Get blasted, boys. Headshot as well. I got my other streak. I'm going to call that in my hellstorm. Here I get my hellstorm, but the triangles are disappearing quite quickly. My teammates are going in harm and I get taken out during that hellstorm as well. So you can see they're pushing through that church very aggressively. They want to clear that area. So that's wronged one. So now you're going to see it from the other perspective from the A flag. So you're going to use both strategies and I hope you guys appreciate these videos it's very powerful remember to leave a like guys and please share the videos to help me out because if you guys don't share it then uh, you know I rely on you guys to grow right so please do share it please do leave a like if you appreciate it so round two is coming up now this is the A perspective I go to A flag I'm gonna try and get some points on A flag just we want two flags we want A and B that is the core of domination you want two flags so you can keep them on the opposite flag which is the C flag in this case and then you can control the map by that you would believe in 2018 people are actually triple capping as well you would think uh, people have learned their lesson by now no two flags is the best no triple capping and again easily picking them off in the C spawn by maintaining this power position I get my extra shield as well with a crash I quite like crash if you haven't realized already you can see I'm easily getting my long shot medals as well as they come out of the spawn. You can see D Nasty in their spawn, quite deep in their spawn. Shout out to my boy D Nasty. And I'm assuming they're going to spawn to my right side as well. But the spawns are so aggressive in this game. Just one guy in the spawn like that wouldn't do much. You can still see they're spawning over there. So again, checking my right side. And as predicted, he pushed through the doorway and I was ready for him. You can see my other teammates in the spawn as well. So we're not intentionally trying to spawn trap guys. The, the guys I play with are savages. They're basically savages. They want to just kill a lot of the enemies. And if it works out, it works out, right? Look at that. You can see the German tryhard AJ right now climbing up that little hill there, going into the spawn as well. And look at how it's influenced the spawn. They're spawning to my right side now. But I predicted that and I was ready and I'm just pre-aiming head glitch now as they come through. I got my hellstorm ready, but I'm not going to use it yet. I learned my lesson from the death I had in a church by using my hellstorm. And again, he's coming through the midway thinking he can outgun me, but he's thinking very wrong, guys. Now I get my chopper and it's ready and waiting to be called in. You can see my acoustic sensor going off as well. And here I lose a bit of aim assist. I thought I would have had that guy, but he got me well played. So I spawn on the A flag again. I'm going to potentially try and call in my streak. That's going to pre-aim it first. As predicted, they pushed out towards the A spawn and I was ready. Notice I took my time before I called it in because I knew from that theft they were going to push out to the A spawn to try and get me. They were going to try and spawn trap me. But big mistake, boy. And I do happen to get them thankfully. So now acoustic sensor going off again. I'm just scanning the area looking for any enemy traffic in the area that I am looking at. And also checking the minimap, seeing where my teammates are and looking for potential spawn locations of the enemies. Now here you can see a different perspective. Now they have a C flag, but I'm just going to play with the C flag. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to triple cap. You can see they're spawning to the left of the C area. And you can easily hit them off the spawns in this area as well. So again, not taking a C flag. I'm just playing with them and seeing them pushing towards that C spawn flag right now. As they think I'm trying to cap it basically. You can see that spawn again. He happens to get me out of the spawn and I'm moving away now. Now people like to play that area that I just got killed at. People like to play around that area when the enemies have the C flag. But the church area is so much more powerful. You can get a lot more people by controlling the church power pushing. This is a mini power pushing. It's not a major power pushing compared to the church as well. So you know it's your choice at the end of the day but I do recommend controlling the church power position. And again, I see that skull, I'm tagging him up, I took out one, I move away now and fall back slightly. Again, playing with them, toying with their aggression as they think I'm taking that C flag. Now they spawn into the right side, take him out, pre-aim that little alleyway as well, that little corridor. Pre-aim it, check it, cruiser sensor going off again. I see leap of faith, alright, let's do this. 
I'm gonna take a leap of faith, but let me clear the area first. Tag him up, kill him, and I see the red dots going off. I see my teammates shooting up that church area. This is my publishing boy. I enter it, jump on top, leap of faith, absolutely get destroyed, boys. That's how we do it. But I'm not done yet. Where are you going, boy? Get off that altar and I'll take you out as well. Just carnage going right now. I happen to run off I'm at the wrong time as well. Look at that beautiful timing. Good sense of still going haywire. I'm gonna push out the doorway searching for this guy. I got my health storm. I'm gonna call it in because they can't kill me. So I might as well do their job for them, right? Boom. And that's how we end the match. 56 bomb. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did. Please share the videos, guys, if you want to see me grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.